Yeah, g'day viewers. Just thought I'd like to show you some dental x-ray unit heads that I've pulled apart. Uh, I've pulled apart a couple from work that are uh, either an old unit, like this one here, that has an iron core transformer. Transformer is rated at about 240 volts in and 75,000 volts into an 8 milliamp load, which is the x-ray tube here. So I've basically hooked this thing up to energize the tube and it's a really stupid thing to do. Firstly because the voltage is involved as I mentioned 75,000 volts and also this thing will generate unshielded unfiltered x-rays that are quite dangerous to have and so I'll be operating this from a safe distance and uh, and won't operate it for too long either just to reduce the exposure risk of the x-rays being generated but anyway for all the young viewers out there if you find an old x-ray head don't dismantle it and hook it up very risky thing to do having said that I'll show you a couple of others that I've also dismantled this one here is a later one that uh, that they use nowadays, it's much lighter mainly because it uses much smaller components it has a high frequency flyback style transformer here which goes into a volta voltage multiplier stage and through this little hole here is the actual x-ray tube and that sits there and this is in a shielded enclosure and here's the tube here this is another one that I've pulled out so you can see the difference this tube here has what they call the target which is embedded in a copper heatsink and has a small aperture which helps collimate the beam and also gives a much finer focal point which results in higher resolution uh, high quality x-rays that the, the dentist in that can study and up the top here is a filament and I've got a battery here so we'll energize that filament and have a look at it and just quickly look at the older one this has a much broader target area it's basically a flat tungsten target which liberates x-rays when bombarded by high in intensity electrons that are liberated from the uh, cathode up here which is, contains the filament anyway we shall set up the camera and uh, fire this thing up
Righto folks, well thanks for watching and as I, as I said doing this is extremely dangerous so please don't do this at home guys catch you next time